Conqueror has a couple targets, but not as many. He still got five targets, Conqueror's Pledge and Birds of Paradise. So we here in the booth and you guys at home watching live here on gg'slive.com can see effectively Dan sitting on a four card hand with only one land. So we'll see if uh, the magic gods are favoring him right now with this one, see if he's able to pull out. Cedric going to five, so who knows, maybe Tom's... I smell two fetch lands and Lotus Cobra for Cedric. Nope, nope. Oh, that's on nope, Elspeth. Nope, nope. Oh, it's a March Flats. Do we have a second land in there? Nope, I think he's going to have to keep this, though. Oh, Jesus. No play except for that stack anytime soon. So we're going to see the battle of the one-landers. And Dan leads with the Savage Lands. And the flats from Cedric. So he's a master. Doesn't nothing, draw nothing land. for Dan. His hand is... Oh, baby. The cat is out of his bag. <laughs> Cedric doesn't draw land either. <laughs> and I'm sure much to his delight, <laughs> Cedric will allow him uh, the same right. fun here. But Dan draws his second land first, so we'll see what he's able to do with it. Uh, Cedric draws a noble higher against definitely not a land. And his opponent misses, a, misses his third land drop on turn four, I believe. Yeah. Just down. Another noble higher is drawing. Thorn lane's going to hit the yard. Man so, of missed. course, Dan's hand is full of gas and looks really good. The problem is he's stuck on two <coughs> lands. He's sitting on Lightning Bolt, Putrid Leech, Jun Charm, Lightning, Garrick, Maelstrom Pulse, Blood Braid Elf, Broodmate Dragon. Like one of uh, everything in his deck, basically. Yeah, so pretty much just got the entire, the entire suite of spells. And his opponent misses his land yeah, drop baby. again. This team is yeah, really baby. exciting. Yeah, this is, this is a top-notch display of magical prowess. Well, I was wishing he kept that first land with a lot of late drops. He would have had, like, five lands to play now and an Elspeth or something. <laughs> Waiting to see what Dan pitches here on his turn. Looks like he's been a Garrick, and he does. Ooh, another Marsh Flats from Rashad. <laughs> <Rashid. laughs> from Cedric. Are you about to call him Rashad? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he was about to call Cedric Rashad. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to call him Rashad. That's exactly what I was going to do. Wouldn't be the first time. Although I am a lot, although I'm a lot handsomer than uh, Cedric Phillips. <laughs> but now the. Uh, no. The set of Marsh Flats in play for, uh, for Cedric here, sitting on two Noble Hierarchs. Still no land. The rest of the game. We got a deal? Oh, he, oh, he draws oh, a Bird of Grand Catacombs from Dan. So Perfect we might card get, to follow might get, Lotus yeah, might get some action. 18. Now let's see what we do here. So he's got an, an effective five mana here this turn if he wants it. And all he could do is play so, Lightning and Future Leaks. All right, that's pretty good. Is he, is he going to crack it and then not <laughs> do anything with it? He's, uh, he added the mana okay, to so his he's goal. adding the mana. I'm contemplating what he's going to do. He's eyeing this Blightning, deciding what he wants to do with it. I'm not sure Blightning is very effective here. Like Obviously, there's a bunch of things stranded in Cedric's hand that he can't do anything with. So, pitches of so two masters, two masters of the wild hunt, uh, hit the bin. I hope that this will at least be a uh, future leech then if he's going to break this here. Oh, Cedric's just, okay, Cedric's just ready for being Now we can play a real game of magic where we both draw our colors and our lands that Lotus Cobra and our spells. Had. Probably three turns. Kenny Caster, to, uh, Kenny Caster, what's your record? Future Leech is like Lotus Cobra Warrior Mop on its own. Nothing special nice. about that. Uh, we're going to game three. Especially with the peak of the top two. We've had a very, two very competitive two. So, this one will be just epic. What deck did you Could play? Could have tried to search out some land. Nice choice. To make his, uh, it's a really good better, deck. To draw a forest better, but that game is still going to be rough regardless. It's very powerful. Especially with the opponent having a full grip. Awesome. No, uh, no sideboard here. changes here, it looks like, going into game three. Nothing notable. Both players are going to keep their same 60 here for game three. Surprisingly, his opponent's still keeping... Well, he didn't really, he didn't really have an opportunity to see anything well, from saw, Cedric, so... Well, if you saw the thorn thing, you have to think, what did he take out? <laughs> it was really, Conqueror's Pledge is the only thing, reasonable thing you take out. So you definitely saw two Thornlings discarded by Cedric. But if maybe you haven't put in the time against a deck like Green White Tokens, uh, it's certainly not one of the top tier decks. It's definitely not well publicized, maybe outside of Cedric himself. 
if you're looking for an Eldrazi-based tokens deck, you might think the Conqueror's Pledge is kind of their their engine, so you might not assume they'll take it out necessarily. Like he might just keep them on Conqueror's Pledge and figure, oh, well, that's the most powerful card in his deck with a monument. You know, that I guess would be his justification for bringing in Junchan. Um, Rune Blaster, you know, doesn't look very effective against a two-color deck, but then again, you saw Sun Petal Grove and uh, the Great Pelt Refuges. Rune Blaster is like really poor against a green-white deck. They have it's like good. birds and hierarchs, so yeah. Uh, ultimately, it's probably Night of the Real Aquarium too. It's, it's really bad against it for Cedric. Like, Cedric would be pretty ecstatic if he kept them in, but he did bring them out so he could bring in those Jun charms and the extra seeds game commander. Yep. But hopefully, here we'll be able to see a, a real game of Magic. Uh, something more along the lines of game one, where people play lands and spells. I'll go first. Well, game one was a really real. It was a 